not all banks are cut from the same cloth. So there are regional banks, there are global banks, and there are also very specific domestic banks that specifically focus on uh, certain segments of the economy. All these institutions need different kinds of solutions, yes. right? And that's primarily where I believe partnerships come into play, right? So at large financial institutions, right? So I think there is an increasing acceptance that banks only, you know, everyone is a profit uh, oriented machine with purpose, right? So with purpose, inclusion, uh, all those values continue to sort of drive us. So what we need is the right kind of partnerships. So we just don't make money by deploying infrastructure and deploying technology infrastructure. We make money by putting assets and making that infrastructure work for the ecosystem that we service in. That's primarily where you see evolving trends uh, in the ecosystem, right? So there is emergence of what I would call as DPUs, digital public utilities. So how can we deliver services uh, largely on digital public utilities? Now, digital public utilities are going to be very country specific. So if you are a large global bank, then you got to start and begin thinking about how do your global systems integrate with these last mile digital public utilities, which act as channels, right? Right, so there has to be a flexibility in terms of integrating. And if you are a regional bank, you've got to similarly think about it. The segment that you want to serve, what is the digital public utility? Have the digital public utility completely evolved? No, right? So they are also evolving. So you've got to basically integrate lock, step and barrel, right? So you have to evolve. So that means the need of the hour is flexibility in terms of system design and architecture. Right. Even if you're a global bank, how do you sort of cater to local variants? Right. So how do you harmonize them again, right? So repeatedly, whether it is scale or whether you want to basically cater to local variances and still continue to deliver delightful customer experience, the answer continues to be flexible technology infrastructure. Uh, right. So for the digital economies of Asia and Southeast Asia, uh, I think they need a flexible digital infrastructure into which financial services have to embed themselves, right? So the ecosystems uh, that we are talking about, the ask is primarily, you know, make or deliver services that are seamless. Right. So how do you deliver and make these services seamless? You should basically be creating embeddable services. Yeah. Uh, it can be financial. You know, financial services come in many different shades. Right, so insurance is a financial service, wealth advisory is a financial service, even providing you access to assets on a stock exchange is a financial service. Yes. Uh, you know, custodying and safekeeping of your clients, assets is a financial service. Now we need to basically look at it and as we develop this digital technology infrastructure, we got to basically ask ourselves, uh, how do we adopt hmm. these things? I don't think there are three steps, right? So first we have to look at, like you correctly pointed out, where are we and what is the new capability that is available and how do we transition? So as you transition, I think you will develop some ideas about how the service can transform. And that leads to, I think, the imagination in embedding that particular service into uh, appropriate digital public utility or a new type of digital channel and you know the world that we are in you know is given how easy is it to sort of produce services from fintechs or produce infrastructure uh, that is required to deliver these services there are two trends in parallel right so there are platform shift happening and there are paradigm shifts happening as well so you got to primarily uh, look at First comes platform shift and on the backbone of that particular platform comes a paradigm shift. So how do we want to understand and then prepare, position ourselves uh, to take advantage, leverage the platform shifts that are happening to again, right? So end of day, it always comes back to how do we help our clients help their consumers seamlessly? Right? Right. How do we embed or how do we enable embedding? these services. And that's going to be the theme, I think, for ecosystems for the next 15, 20 years. Right. Uh, as 
digital economy takes off right so i think i don't think anyone's arguing about you know where the leapfrog is going to happen the leapfrog is going to happen in the digital economy right new economy is going to take a significant share of growth and we need to find a way to service our existing clients and you know potentially new clients were going to get wings i should say from the digital economy